I don't know. I'm going to probably have to reboot the computer. It looks like it's recording. All right, well, we'll try it. Hello. And I forgot to see. Uh, I'm so scatterbrained. Anyway, Wednesday, January 4th. It is 35 degrees. My God. I don't even need a coat. Thank you for watching yesterday. I have 56 views. That's a triumph, for sure. Because I only posted this, what, five places, six places? Um, I didn't get any sleep. I said I was gonna. And then I stayed up watching Iowa caucus coverage. So I have one addiction, and it is political coverage on television. But God, it was awful last night. I mean, I don't even know why I bothered trying out current. You know, if you're gonna watch a Republican caucus coverage, you probably wouldn't go to a far left wing station, but I did. And I'm not, you know, into the whole lefty righty deal. Obviously, I lean right, but I can watch practically anybody. But as I said on Twitter last night, it only took me about 15 seconds of Al Gore lying about Ron Paul to say I'm just not bothering with this channel. C-SPAN was pretty cool. It kind of looked like the caucuses that I've been attending in Minnesota, by which I mean once I went. Actually, I've gone twice, so this will be a third time. I'm looking forward to it. It should be exciting. Uh, even though I'm in the bluest of blue states, there's a smattering of people that come out for Republican caucuses. And since there's no Libertarian caucus, I go to the Republican one for Ron Paul and ask me more about politics. This is the surest way to make sure no one ever watches me again is to start talking about politics. But uh, anyway, Fox Business turned out to be really the most entertaining coverage. This is pretty much Neil Cavuto and whoever he felt like talking to for as long as he felt like talking to them. And he's, a, he's an excellent interviewer. And he's a financial guy, first and foremost. So this is kind of a stretch for him, but not really. He did a lot on CNN, too, but really exciting. A lot better than Fox News, which was just, you know, Fox News, over the top. And then CNN, with their 50 people and 25 gimmicks, kind of, you really had to search for the news in there sometimes. So it's best to watch as many channels as you can with a laptop in your lap. Preferably not tweeting about it like I did, but I didn't seem to lose any followers over it, so. So there. So when I was worried I'd have nothing to talk about, I ended up talking about what I watched on television last night. Tonight, as you can see, we're in the Timberwolves gear. We're going to take on the Grizzlies from Memphis. Hopefully three in a row. Go Wolves. I forgot to check the levels. I hope that I'm not making that really bleh loud noise that I heard a couple times yesterday, but I forgot to check. This is really the lowest of low tech. This, this, I think this Logitech camera cost my boss 20 bucks to give to me, and I really need to reboot this laptop because it's just half working, I think. That said, I've wasted enough of your time. I'm going to waste a little more of your time. With the comments I got yesterday, I said I would bring them up. Uh, and if you want to let me know, is this too long, not long enough? Am I holding your entertainment? Am I holding your attention? Are you entertained? Now you're not entertained, but let's go. First comment I got was off Twitter. Thanks to the Kill File Victim, the KFV. Thanks. How about the breakdown of the Packers against the NFC for the playoffs? The Packers are going to win the Super Bowl. I'm sure I will have more of a chance to talk about this in the next two weeks before their actual first game. Uh, we will set this aside and address it later. One comment on YouTube from Single Malt Games, who I know to be Big G on the W, and the Big G apparently stands for Stewie. My day was great. I said, how was your day? That'll teach me. My day was great. Watched some cricket, ate some KFC. Thanks for asking. I doubt you live in a country where you can watch cricket and eat KFC. I am suspicious. We'll roll with it. Comments off Facebook. Do I still have them? Did I delete them? Ah, crap. Well, there were some comments on Facebook. And I don't remember what they are, but thank you to Cheryl and Andy. And I'm trying real hard to bring them up. And I'm not logged in. You know what? I'll have to do the Facebook comments tomorrow. Uh, if you want to pile some more comments on tonight, great. I have taken way too much of your time already. As I said, it's 521, 35 degrees. I'm CRZ. So far, so good.